what do young people out here need to to they just get on need, track? They just really need somewhere to call home instead of hanging around on the streets all day, causing trouble. Have you felt one? They're like, oh, she's... Is it okay to touch this? Yeah, sort of around there. What are you guys doing? Hmm? What are you guys up to? Oh, nothing, just having a cigarette. People yeah. like you yeah. are a mockery to me. Nothing short of a mockery. She's definitely in there. I guess I should ask you, because you're probably the person who would know, what's your advice to people for safety online, to protect themselves from people like you? D d yeah, just, just don't add anybody. Just On charges relating to Facebook stalking and manipulation. If you don't get a kidney, what happens? I die. <laughs> How do you feel about this place closing? A very disappointing. Sad. Had a lot of good mates here. Of course, a lot of them are up in the cemetery now, unfortunately. But once the whales have been refloated, rescuers can only wait and hope they don't restrand overnight. So you had the handcuffs behind yeah, your back? Behind your back. He, yeah. He, he took the key and opened the door. An, an axe, was it? Yeah, yeah. you one. Money, the money yeah. Bank. Right. Oh, uh, two men. What is your um, fascination with death? Uh, well, I, I don't even think I really want to or need to answer that question. Neighbours describe the victim as a good lady, a nice person who keeps to herself and someone who works hard, looking after people with disabilities. She's um, one of my best mates' mums. It's quite, do you know she is dead? Yeah, she's dead. Oh, fuck. He just grabbed her, shoved up against the fence and hit her a few times. We mm. came running out and we seen him, he had been axed in the head. There's this feeling of shock and disbelief here and it's, it's much stronger than I sort of imagined. Police have charged a 32-year-old man in Lower Hutt and the union's talking about increasing that to $26 an hour. A colourful welcome to what this happy couple called just another normal old wedding. I promise. What is going on with him? I don't know. Yeah, that is all bumming it up. Shade up. Are you bumming it? Oh yeah, probably. When your boys are talking about um, the way you were, what are they talking about? They're talking about my violence. When this place was built. It was actually built for a whole bunch of guys in their early 20s and they would come here weekend after weekend. The place would be packed. It was the social hub of living. Someone who understands you. Barbara Timms led the team that tried to save the club, which her father helped build. We tried our very, very best. So you wouldn't see yourself as a woman? Well, I'm not a woman. I'm a transsexual. How does this make you feel? Pretty humbling seeing I've got a boy the same age. It's pretty. Sorry. I hate the reason, but I love what we've done. If you don't want people to know who you are, why would you do this interview? Um, because I'm also interested in disseminating my work. An ominous grey cloud can be seen on the hills. We're an hour out of Wellington now. I have no idea where we are. My hot cameraman, Matt Smith, is listening to music and he doesn't believe me that I'm going to use this cell phone video to start up our story. GC Pete is a real journalist. <laughs> to be honest, there wasn't really much going on in Greytown. Um, so we want to put a new fence in, just tidy the place up. Fire siren, gotta go. Are they all volunteers? Those all guys? volunteers. How do they turn up so quickly? How do they turn up so quickly? Show everybody his face. Now look, you don't need online dating or anything. There's actually a famous story here, Paul. Um, Barry Crump, allegedly, according to... Oh, oh sorry, Doc. I'm fine. The new Captain Kirk had been called to appear in the Ashburton court on drink driving charges, and what do you know, he boldly appeared and surprised me, and many media were clinging on. One was our own Jesse Peach. Outside one of the country's more modest courtrooms, tension is building. A Hollywood hunk is on his way. 
kind of happy because nothing ever happens here. More than 25 members of the press are waiting to greet Mr Chris Pine, but it's all too much for some. It's a drink driving charge, he might be only just over. It's not a murder. I mean, it's this bloody European paparazzi. Miles Hume, Ashburton Guardian, has never seen so many reporters in his patch. We don't usually get too many media here or many people here. Mick Jensen, Ashburton Courier, can't believe it either. Pretty exciting for Ashburton. They'll put Ashburton on the map for a couple of days. She's the star. The Christchurch Press sent four journalists along. That's Joelle who broke the story last week. She says she's feeling pretty good right now. This is Ashburton's big day, you know. This will be the biggest court story that's come out of Ashburton since God knows when. Oh my God. Then all of a sudden, a rush of adrenaline, and we swoop on mass as the current Captain Kirk peels out of a four-wheel drive wearing double denim and tan suede boots. Fans waited in a daze outside court until he returned, a now convicted drink driver to give autographs. Ignoring us journalists as you would. <laughs> Was that what you were expecting? Then just as he arrived, Pine was whisked away, leaving a group of shaking girls and boys in his wake. Uh, a bit fangirly at the moment, but yeah, I touched her. <laughs> oh my God. After all that, perhaps the biggest star of this media scrum was our superhero cameraman, Dutchie Lacoste. Dutchie threw two very bold questions at the Hollywood hunk. Chris, do you watch the Paul Henry show? Chris, do you watch the Paul Henry show? And I think he might have heard him too.